Namaste, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this Monday edition of The Right Stand. I'm Anand Narsimhan. When our founding fathers and mothers, the people of this country who strove for our freedom, they had only one idea in mind. They had only one intent. They wanted freedom for Bharat. Whether they were in Peshawar, whether they were in Chittagong, whether they were in Chennai or whether they were in Srinagar. Any part of this broken into various Riyasat's country at that point in time, people only wanted freedom. It was the idea of an independent nation that brought them together. What is the idea for the opposition today? What drives them? The narrative of India 75 years into its independence or the narrative that let's do whatever it takes to defeat Modi and the BJP. How many times in the recent past have you heard leaders from the opposition come up with a better plan for Bharat? And how many times in the recent past have you heard opposition netas say we need to do whatever we can to defeat the BJP. Well, even one of the Davedars or candidates for the vice president's position, a very, very tall leader herself, tweeted the other day saying that we need to get together to defeat the BJP. So obsessed. Have they become so obsessed with just a party, an ideology, and perhaps an individual that they have forgotten that they all represent India. That all of us owe our identity to India. This is exactly what the Prime Minister earlier in the day reiterated, said very clearly, obsess with India, obsess with what your plan is for this country, society, its people. Not one person, one party or one ideology. Listen in. हाल के समय में विचारधारा या राजनीतिक स्वार्थों को समाज और देश के हित से भी ऊपर रखने का चलन शुरू हो गया है कई बार तो सरकार के कामों में विपक्ष के कुछ इसलिए अड़ंगे लगाते हैं क्योंकि जब वो सत्ता में थे तो अपने लिए फैसले वो लागू नहीं कर पाए अब अगर उनका क्रियान्वयन होता है तो उसका विरोध करते हैं देश के लोग इस सोच को पसंद नहीं करते हैं ये हर एक राजनीतिक पार्टी का दायित्व है कि दल का विरोध व्यक्ति का विरोध देश के विरोध में न बदले विचारधाराओं का अपना स्थान है और होना भी चाहिए राजनीतिक महत्वाकांक्षाएं तो हो सकती है लेकिन देश सबसे पहले है समाज सबसे पहले है राष्ट्र प्रथम है लेट्स गेट इन टू बेड विद रेडिकल्स विद एंटी नेशनल एलिमेंट्स विद एनाकिस्ट एंड डिसरप्टर्स एंड दो who actually should have got no place in my political scheme of things just because abhi inki zarurat hai kaam nikal lete hain baad mein dekh lenge sambhal lenge damage hua to hua desh jala to jala dange hue to hue is this attitude right he is asked this question the prime minister and he's also put forth the fact that allow parliament to function din disruption debate where is the debate there is just din disruption and drama and hangama that's happening where is the business transaction where is the opposition's constructive role now many may turn around and say what was this disposition doing in 2011 2012 2013 well that's a fair question to ask but just because you felt you were sitting in the treasury benches then and you thought this is wrong should you do the same or should you contribute to the country's growth and take a positive story and say we are doing what is there for the country's growth that's what the prime minister has turned around and said of course there is going to be politics but let's look at when protests actually marred parliament 25th of july today let's start and then go backwards 
four Lok Sabha MPs of the Congress Party, two from Tamil Nadu, two from Kerala, suspended for the rest of the monsoon session. The suspension is over placards and disrupting proceeding, deliberately disrupting proceeding. There's nothing wrong in what is written in the placard. The fact that you're holding a placard and standing in the well, it was very clearly mentioned this will not be allowed because you cannot disrupt the regular business of parliament. Because that is also your fundamental duty. December 21st, 2027, Rajya Sabha, TMC MP, Derek O'Brien, suspended for the rest of the winter session, accused of throwing the rule book at the chair. August 11, 2021, again, 12 opposition MPs suspended on November 29th for the ruckus that was created, accused of unruly, violent behaviour. And we know what happened to some of the marshals who were just doing their job. 23rd of July, 2021, TMC MP, Shantanu Shen, suspended for the rest of the monsoon session and accused of unruly conduct, snatching papers from the IT minister. So, are they competing with each other, saying who's unrulier than the other? Or are they going to compete saying who's got a better narrative for the country and I've got one better than yours, Mr. Modi? How many of them have come out and said, I've got a better narrative than Narendra Modi for Bharat? Let's dive into this debate, ladies and gentlemen. India or ideology, what's going to be the priority? It's a straight face-off between the BJP and a voice from the...